before I get started for today, I am going to show you guys the bad ending, which is obtained by either getting a game over, by losing all your lives, or by doing the save and quit option. Yep, you gotta sit through this ending if you wanna save, yeah. I haven't figured out why either, it's not like you forfeit, you just want to save the game for to continue for another time, but anyway, as I said, this transformation, 5 second business, so why didn't she do it as soon as I entered her lair? Anyway, Bear and Bird finished, Grunty wins. Insert your own damn joke here, I'm not making any. Look at Mumbo just barging in there. I, I don't think he quite understands that Gruntilda may be a hottie now, but uh, she's still rotten on the inside. And apparently it's contagious too, because Tootie is understandably very, very frustrated with her new form. And on that note, this is the end of the LP. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for... No! <laughs> I'm just joking around. Uh, now, let's load the save state, and uh, now uh, we have our five Mumbo tokens which are required for the transformation. You only need to pay once, by the way. After that, you can go back and forth between the two forms as much as you want. Of course, it's restricted to being in this particular area, but uh, anyway, this is our first transformation. A freaking termite. You may think this is a weak transformation, and you would be right, it has only two purposes. Mumbo practice needed? Yeah, I understand. The later transformations are uh, much better than that. Anyway, the termite transformation, what it allows you to do, you basically can't do any of your moves behind jumping, but it also allows you to uh, tackle even steeper slopes than uh, what the talent... Whoa! I almost thought I was going to get hit there. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the talent trot can't help you go from here on in unless you're a uh, really pro speedrunner or something. It is possible to just circumvent the uh, transformation entirely. But uh, for people of my skill level, yeah, um, not recommended. Anyway, these are the six last notes that were needed to complete this level. There are a few other things to grab, of course, otherwise I wouldn't keep going up and up and up. As you might expect, there's a Jiggy waiting at the top of this place. And if I remember, there is also a an extra life. There we go. So let's just keep going up and up and up. We're now on the highest point of Mumbo's Mountain. And... Good news! If you fall from that kind of height, you won't take any damage as a termite. Okay, now, here we got another extra honeycomb piece, which means that uh, I think we've actually 100%ed uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, let me just check uh, to make sure. View totals... Yep, we're good. We have now 100%ed Mumbo's Mountain, so we won't need to come back here, ever! So, this is what you want to do to exit the level. You want to stand on the exit pad. And now Bottles uh, will proceed to explain what I explained to you in the last video. You can't take the notes off the world unless you're playing the Xbox Live Arcade version. Try to get 100 on each world. I will. This is a 100% run after all. Now, you don't want to get out of this area of the lair quite yet because... This is the way you're supposed to get that Jiggy. You're supposed to be a termite for this. Talent Trot isn't going to be enough. Okay, now that this is done, um, you're going to be introduced to the, to the concept of, you know, magic running out if you get too far from the level uh, inside Gruntilda's lair. So you can't uh, take the termite form any further than this. So now that we have the Talent Trot, we are able to head up this slope here. And as you can see, there is a note door right here which requires 50 notes. What Gruntilda is saying is that uh, when you uh, explore a world, when you come out, there's going to be an enemy waiting for you. But it doesn't really add much in the way of challenge, uh, to be honest. So, um, 
<laughs> open it, open it up, then jam jars. Uh, coincidence there because jam jars happens to be a character introduced in Banjo Tooie, who happens to be uh, Bottle's brother. But uh, enough about Banjo Tooie. Uh, Bottles is telling us that we need 50 notes in order to be able to open this note door here. Unfortunately, we have 100, which is the max we can have at this point in time. So how about we just go and open that door? Oh yeah, I just opened the first note door, the easiest in the game. Congratulations! Way to go, Banjo! Anyway, oh, um... This lady here, Brantilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister in her own words. Um, what she's gonna do, uh, she's not gonna help you too much. Her role is to, uh, give you an idea of Gruntilda's nasty habits, and, uh, every time you encounter her at, um, well, um, and by that I mean in any location where you can find her, because there are about ten of these in this lair, but, uh, yeah, she's going to tell us dirty secrets about Gruntilda's personal life. First time I played this game, I thought, you know, this is completely useless. How could this ever be useful? Oh, how little did I know. Yes, this is actually useful. Now you might want to write these details down, but I'm not going to need that since um, I'm recording footage right now so I can look it up if I need to, and I will need to before a certain point of the game. Now, uh, this is her third secret for this particular location, so we're going to take her leave, uh, our leave of her for now. And as you can see, there is another uh, puzzle that we can fill in. It's for World 2, Treasure Trove Cove. And Bottles is saying that uh, you can press C down to remove pieces you've put in the puzzle, but once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Of course, because otherwise I could just go grab a Jiggy from Mumbo's Mountains uh, a puzzle and just put it elsewhere since I'm completely done with Mumbo's Mountain, so they're trying to prevent that by doing that. Anyway, Treasure Trove Cove is now open, but we're going to have to go a little bit deeper in the lair to find it. Instead, we're going to keep exploring for a little while, and uh, this thing is called a, shop jun uh, a Shock Jump Disc, sorry. Uh, you need to activate it over at Treasure Trove Cove in order to be able to get up to the puzzle that will open the third world, because that's where it was leading to. Now, we got a few eggs here, and if I remember, we got a Mumbo Token here as well. Yeah, there are Mumbo Tokens in the Gruntilda's Lair as well, ten in total. We can get four at this point in time, so we're going to get all four. Now, uh, we've activated this purple cauldron here. If we activate, if we find another purple cauldron in the lair, uh, it's, it's going to create a warp point between both cauldrons. Now I'm going to try and show you as much of this dialogue as I can, because uh, it's actually really funny sometimes. Um, now, uh, I'm going to head down there first, uh, because... The, oh, over there, we got, um, I believe, Brantilda's there, as well as a Mumbo token, but it's not the main thing that's there, as you will soon see. As you can see, there's a puzzle there. It's for the last world, Click Clock Wood. Unfortunately, there's no pedestal for us to put the, to, to use to put the, the jiggy pieces in, so we can't do anything about it quite yet. So here's Brentilda, so uh, we are going to get three more dirty secrets from her. As I said, don't worry too much about it. I am recording this, and uh, I'm, I'm going to know where to look up those, um, those secrets when I eventually do need them. Now, there's a Mumbo token somewhere around here. It's got to be over there, then. Um, oh, okay, I was wondering maybe if I... If I, screwed my, if I screwed up or something, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, this is all we can do right now, because as I said, uh, uh, of course we can't open up a click clock wood right, uh, right now. We're going to have to go all the way near the end of the lair in order to be able to do anything about it. So, for now, it's better to just ignore it. Uh, instead, we're gonna... I think we're gonna head in that pipe next, because there is yet another, another cauldron. I believe it's an orange one. There are four colors of cauldron. There's purple, orange, blue, and uh, 
yellow. The yellow ones won't be encountered until uh, near the end of the game, so don't worry about that quite yet. Okay, Magic Cauldron. This is an orange one, I think. Uh, the other one is near the end of the lair, which will be convenient when we uh, are able to open up the clock wood. So, uh, now we're going to continue our little exploration tour by going over to this area. This is the area where uh, the entrance to Clanker's Cavern, which is the third 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 world, sorry, is. Now, uh, we can't enter that quite yet because, as I said, we can't even get to the puzzle. But that doesn't mean we can't do a few other things while we're there. So, I'm going to head over to where the entrance is. And there is a mumbo token that's located above the pipe that serves the, that serves as the entrance. There we go. So we got so we got the four mumbo tokens that we can have for now in Runtilda's lair. So uh, we're gonna continue moving in a bit deeper uh, into this area. So I'm just gonna go to backtrack. By the way, I don't know if I'm doing a good enough job of explaining the various uh, concepts in, in this game. If you have any questions, because I know uh, some people haven't played this game, if you have any questions, feel free to send them my way and I'm going to try and answer them as best as I can. Now, we got uh, yet another meeting with Gruntil uh, Brantilda! Sorry about that. Okay, next. He's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Leg Chomper. Leg Chomper? She can't do anything worse than that, really? Her, she's got her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful, judging by her voice, I would imagine so. Red Feathers, these are the first we're encountering in the game. These uh, serve the purpose of allowing uh, Kazooie to fly, but Kazooie can't fly just yet, so this is only going to come in handy a little bit later on. Now that we've opened this uh, little tunnel, we can head inside, and um, here's yet another puzzle. This one is for Bubble Bloop Swamp, the fourth world. Which, uh, yeah, we're actually going to open up the fourth world before the third one. But uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp is uh, beyond the next node door, which we can't open right now. So, if you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. This is what I was alluding to earlier when I said you could just uh, put all the jiggies in with the press of a button. So, Bubble Gloop Swamp is now opened up, but... We are not going to be heading there for quite a while, so now, uh, I think we're just about done in Gruntilda's lair, so we're gonna head back over to the entrance uh, to Treasure Trove Cove. And uh, on that note, I'm ju I just want to make something clear. I haven't got any of that kind of comments yet, because of course I've only done the first world. But um, if uh, you realize that I'm missing something, more likely than not a mumbo token, because those things are uh, probably harder, harder to find than jiggies or notes. But yeah, if you realize that I'm missing or skipping anything, don't bother telling me, because uh, I... I if I ever realize I miss, I'm missing something, I'm just going to open up a game fax at the end of the world, and that's going to be it. So, the second note door, we need 180 notes. Unfortunately, we only have 100 right now, so we can't do much about it. Instead, we can now head in there and enter Treasure Trove Cove, the second main world in this game. And right off the bat, we are going to be starting off with something very annoying. Not those four notes, but what's below this platform. As you can see, there's a Jinjo. Sounds easy enough, right? Just go in there, swim up to it, and then grab it. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Actually, it is that easy! Uh, because the reason you probably heard uh, uh, that we had this music is because whenever you go in water, there's a shark that's called Snacker that is going to come after you. So yeah, this is a beach world where you gotta avoid water at all costs. Go figure. Now, um, this guy over there. I don't think we have enough time to deal with him right now, so I'm just gonna kill this thing and ow, and I'll be done for today. So join me next time for a beachcombing session. <laughs>